Senator Sarah Palin just used her pen and, well, she barbecued President Obama. Earlier, she went on the record. Governor, nice to see you. Hey, thank you, Greta. Governor, as we're running the last corner going toward midterms, it looks like you are coming out swinging on this last lap with lies, damn lies. Obamacare, six months later, it's time to take back 20. What does all that mean? Wasn't that a perfect title? Lies, damn lies. That's what Obamacare was all about. Nancy Pelosi was right, though. She was honest when she said, got to pass the bill to find out what's in it. We open up the bill after it's passed. We see what's in it. And more and more Americans are saying, ah, this isn't what we bargained for. This is not good for the economy. It's not good for health care. It's not good for our democracy. It was full of lies. Like what? Well, for one, that we would be bending the cost curve there. No, costs are going to increase. And Obama now says, oh, yeah, he kind of knew all along that in the margins there, it, costs would go up. And, you know, I wrote in my piece that only in this administration would they call a multi-trillion dollar bill that's going to be handed to the American public something that's marginal. Uh, that's just one of them. The, the whole discussion about uh, abortions, whether those would be funded by taxpayer dollars or not, uh, come to find out, yeah, the abortion funding in some of the uh, more detailed states that have to be mandated now with Obamacare in Pennsylvania and a couple other states, they're going to see taxpayer funding going to abortions. Those are two uh, cases. It, it's one thing after another, uh, Greta, that we were promised under the, the speculation about what Obamacare contained. It's such a stark contrast to what the reality is within Obamacare. But again, more and more people are reading it, they're understanding what's in it, and they're saying, we don't like it, it needs to be repealed. All right, in terms of the abortion, just so that I'm clear, make sure that I understand it, that the only sort of provision in the Pennsylvania one you make reference to is where the mother's life is endangered or there's rape or there's incest. It's not available for just, for lack of a better word, an elective abortion. Perhaps. Again, we're finding more and more when we dig into the details about what it all says. The point here is that we were told, the American public were told, via the White House and uh, congressmen and women, that there would be no taxpayer funding of abortion. You dig into it, you see that as it is applied to some particular states, there is funding for that. So it, it creates this basis of distrust, of dishonesty in this bill, and that's what people are so concerned about is, what else is in there that we weren't told? Which then morphs to my next question, take back 20, what does that mean? Take back 20. Well, there are 20 seats that are in play right now in areas where McCain and I carry them in the 08 election, these areas. And in these areas, currently, the Congress members voted for Obamacare. They need to be challenged. Thankfully, these characters are being challenged by good candidates who want to repeal and replace Obamacare. Those 20 seats really are up for grabs. So uh, I'm working hard to get these people noticed, to get their ideas listened to, and to get their promise to repeal Obamacare and replace it with something that makes more sense. It's based on free market um, principles. I want these candidates to be given some attention and some notice. And that's what we're working on with the Take Back 20. Next, President Obama versus former Governor Sarah Palin in a comic book. Now, what is going on with that? We're going to ask Governor Palin next. Plus, do you think the president only has problems with Republicans in the Tea Party movement?